I'm getting my voice back gradually. It's not perfect yet, but I'm getting there. Uh, I look very um, put together, kind of, today, because I just filmed a video. Um, I went to school, and on the way back, Alfie fell asleep in the buggy. So as soon as I got home, I put him in bed. I tried to make myself look decent. I had another top, which was a bit more flattering. This is like kind of a baggy t-shirt that's a bit too big for me, but I just went in the house. And uh, I thought I would film my favorites of the month because that needs to go, sorry, hiccups, up tomorrow as I'm filming this. And I hadn't had a chance to do it yet because I was going to do it at the weekend and I was feeling a bit too miserable for it. I was going to put some mascara on and then I remember, no, I'm getting my eyelashes done tonight. And I need to make sure that there's no mascara at all on my eyelashes and I find it really difficult to get it completely out without rubbing my, my eyes really hard and I thought, I'm already going to get some products on them tonight, so I'll just give them a break. And I'll just put a little bit of powder and blusher on and that will do the trick. Anyway, uh, it's Wednesday. And I'm so glad I feel asleep because it means I can get some breakfast in peace, do my editing, do a bit of work. Hopefully he sleeps for a wee while. And that feels nice. And tonight I'm getting some me time for about an hour. I will be laying on a, a couch with my eyes closed because I have no choice about that because I'm getting my eyelashes done. And just the thought of lying there in peace makes me feel very happy. Um, I'm feeling much better. James is feeling much better. Afi is feeling much better. Still not 100%. It's going to take a while to get our energy back. I'm trying to get my skin back to normal because it's breaking out. Um, it's, it's, my skin is really dehydrated and it's just that, that's that, so, yeah. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna try and get some stuff done and get this day going. So although I don't usually go too much into politics, as tomorrow are the Northern Irish elections, there will be a lot of talks in this vlog about them. And there I just had, we've had a few people knocking on our door um, in the last few weeks just from different parties to explain what they wanted to do and all that and I haven't grown up here so I don't have any kind of um, attachment to any of the parties in a way so to me it's strictly to what they can offer and what I believe will make a, a better difference for this country. This country is a country which I've lived in for almost 10 years but uh, I do understand the French parties a little better than I do the parties here. They're all called with na like letters together, which to me don't mean anything. Um, most of the time I don't even know what they stand for. I have learned lately uh, in the last few elections you know, what they were, but um, I don't attach any kind of connotation with each party the way some people would here. So I'm quite... Um, neutral when it starts with and then I just go I, I look into what they want to offer and every time there's been people knocking on the door I felt it was important to have a chat with them about what I value is import as important what their what they take on it was just to give me a good idea about what they wanted to represent and some parties they were trying to go around my questions and I <laughs> thought okay yeah you just don't want to tell me you don't agree with me to still try and get my vote but no and there is those parties who there was a lady there who just came and um, she's not the one who is for the election she's one of the people who helps to try and get the votes in I understand they all do that but I actually had a good exchange in the conversation she was listening to what I had to say answering back in what they were planning to do. <coughs> she didn't make me believe that they were going to do exactly what I thought was good. <laughs> she explained to me that what my priorities were, were quite high on their list, but there were some even more urgent matters, which obviously I completely agree with, and that's absolutely fine. But I didn't feel like she was trying to sugarcoat everything and tell me everything was perfect. She agreed that the situation at the moment was rubbish and if it, we need to get Northern Ireland back in a good situation to be able to have more say in the UK about what was going on. So, yes, I was planning, I do, I'm, I'm not going to go into who I'm voting for and stuff like that because that's not the point. Uh, this is a party I was planning to vote for anyway. Um, here you can vote, you don't vote for just one person, you have what they call the single 
transferable vote you put like a li in the list of people you can vote for up to 10 people and you number them one two three four five etc in the order you want them to be elect elected then they do a whole system of counting the votes based on that so it means that if you don't and i'm in that situation there's not one single party <coughs> who has ticks all my boxes uh, so I'm going with the parties who, to me, take the most boxes and this was one of them and it, just chatting with that woman comforted me in the, in the, in the fact that um, I wanted to give them a vote. So yeah, so just back home from the school run and Owen has a few things with him so he's going to tell you all about it. So what happened in school? What do you have on your forehead? Um, uh, a cross, yeah. save of ash. Ash? What is it for? Um, because it's Ash Wednesday. What is Ash Wednesday? It's the day we get um a cross um made of ash um on your forehead. Okay, I was hoping to get the full explanation because I actually don't know what it is exactly. But right, and what did you say today? You made a promise in school, is that it? Yeah, but it went up on the wall. On and the I wall. So what? What was the promise about? Um, <coughs> I want ah, you to do for ah, your legs, and so, my one, I will stop eating sweets, so I'm not on both sweets for, um, So no sweets? Yeah. And then even chocolate? Yeah. Are you not going to eat chocolate at all until it's Easter? Yeah, because then I'm not too full of sweets. Okay, well, I'm, this is not something I would... Uh, make him do but he uh, most schools here are religious schools um, as you know I'm not of any religion and I don't practice that anything for, like that but um, uh, that was for work for work yeah. yeah but do you want to do it or not I do okay that's good all right well if it's, it's something it's you know tired. do you think you can do it yeah okay um I don't do Lent because I've never ever done it. I didn't even know properly what it was until I moved here. Uh, uh, hold on, can I, please, can I please explain something? Can I? Please? Um, and it's not something I would make my children do. To me, it's a personal choice. I'm assuming that in school they were asked to pick something. Because that's why I ask even chocolate, because he doesn't really eat sweets. He does like chocolate, though. Uh, so I was thinking, sweets is a really easy one to keep up when you don't like sweets if they don't include chocolate. So, I mean, if he's, he wants to do it, that's fine by me. James used to do Lent. I don't actually know if he's doing it this year or not. Um, I'm not. Never done it. I'm not going to start now. But today I started a squat challenge. So <laughs> it's kind of my version of it, okay? It's a 30 day challenge, so it's not going to go all the way up to Easter, but if I can get it done, hopefully it will be good. I've done day one, it was 30 squats, and I've done them, so we'll see. I think tomorrow is a lot more, but you can, um, the rule I'm, I've seen, it's in one of the groups on Facebook, I'm in, and they said you can break them up in two or three times during the day if you need to. So I'm not going to push my body too much because I still need to watch when I exercise. Um, but um, yeah, <coughs> something I can do throughout the day. This morning I did it while I was waiting for my milk to heat up in the microwave. I'm now off to my eyelash appointment to run because I'm late. Because James was late and I needed to, to wait for him to be home to uh, go. So I'll see you after the appointment. I'm back home. And I have a face again, yay! My eyebrows are a bit dark to start with, but they always fade in the first few days, so... Uh, and I have eyelashes that can be seen. I'm really pleased with them again. Anyway, um, I'm gonna stop the vlog here for now and I will continue in the morning. Good morning, it is Thursday. I'm really confused because there's no school today, so I'm confused in the day this week. Um, it is uh, 8 o'clock and I am so tired. <laughs> I didn't sleep very well last night um, and this morning I went woke me up at 7 so yeah. I have two monkeys there. Today the program of the day is a lazy day apart from going to vote at some point. Um, I'm gonna have to bring the boys with me because James has an appointment tonight so he will be going on his way home 
from that. Uh, the polling station is open until 10 p.m. So it's gonna go then. Um, and yeah, I want to release some new stickers today. They are most of them are designed just to do a few things and release those. And yeah, so it's I'm just gonna take it easy for the day. Yeah! Yeah! It's almost two o'clock and I still haven't had lunch. I'm gonna try something which I haven't tried before. But in the frozen range, it's the Pagliatelli con porcini by Bird's Eye. Now, this may sound really weird, but I have a massive issue with the texture of mushrooms. I like the taste and I like the flavor they give, but eating mushrooms themselves, I can eat them okay on a pizza, I can eat them if they are mixed with other things, but a mushroom on its own, I have an issue with it. And I'm gonna tell you the backstory for this. When we were small, one time my mom made, uh, she was very often making mushroom omelet, which I used to eat fine which she was making with uh, fresh mushrooms or frozen mushrooms. And one time, um, I don't know why, she ate, she made them with uh, mushrooms that were in a jar, like a glass jar in brine. And she served that to us and it literally looked like there were slugs inside the omelette. And we hated it and we had to eat it. And since that day, I cannot eat like chew into a mushroom i cannot and, I, and it's stupid it's ir irrational completely so what i've done there is that the big pieces of mushrooms which are quite big ones i have removed because <laughs> there's mushroom sauce and these small pieces of mushroom like there is see those things there they are little and they are frozen things of sauce and there's loads of small pieces of mushroom i love the taste of it and the flavor of it and all but it's a chewing bit, can't do. So I'm going to stick <coughs> with the smaller pieces. Uh, I hope this is good, it does smell nice as it's, as it's melting. Apparently it takes seven to eight minutes to do on a pan, so that's quite handy. I had bought quite a few meals, um, like frozen meals like this, so I could have um, when it was on my own, like I wasn't cooking because the boys had their own thing there. I haven't done much this morning. I've made a decision I would actually go to the... Um, voting tonight whenever james is back i can't remember if i said that or not if i said it yesterday i was gonna bring the boys in and i just figured it's a lot handier to go on my own so when james is back i will just go quickly so actually he was being a monster so i decided to change the plans and go and vote this way i had him in the buggy and i could um go and walk down to the school get him over to sleep come back I did a few more laps of the estate after because he still wasn't asleep and when I was playing Pokemon Go at the same time so I'm trying to open a bottle there um, I later went there during the last he was still catching a few things with one of his friends so I don't usually allow him to have my phone outside but as I needed to have some peace and quiet in the house for five minutes to get actually out of the buggy and down to bed and stuff I thought I'd let him have one lap of the estate. So should be here any time now. He's in bed. So hopefully I can finally finish to list my stickers. So it's almost midnight and James is trying to get off to sleep by driving him around. I have just tidied up the living room. It was a very challenging day. I'm not going to pretend. Um, Alfie has been extremely challenging today. He has his days like this where 
we get tantrums after tantrums after tantrums over the silliest thing. I'm going to give you one example, which is, it actually sounds funny when it happened, you know, after it has happened. But when you have to deal with the meltdowns, it's just ridiculous and it's exhausting. He brought me a packet of a small, it's like a small packet, like a treat size packet of wafers with chocolate inside from the cupboard and I thought he was bringing it to me because he wanted one so I opened it and I handed him wafer and my guess is that what I handed him was not what he expected to be in the packet so I don't know if he was expecting chocolate or something more appealing than a wafer with a tiny bit of chocolate in the middle and he started to have a massive meltdown like full-blown rolling on the ground tantrum screaming like if it was the end of the world and next thing he ended up uh, destroying every single wafer while I was in the toilets or when I was <laughs> minding him while playing the Xbox so we were not really minding him and he crushed every single wafer on the couch as a protest it was almost like you're not from the biscuit I wanted to have therefore you must die it's just been things like that constantly today and it's exhausting and luckily it's not like that every day but when it happens it is just um the good news is I finally managed to put online my stickers I wanted to release since Monday um well some of them anyway the one that were urgent the rest is gonna have to wait I don't have the energy anymore right now I need to go to bed I wanted to have like 10 minutes of relaxation in a tidy place because until like 15 minutes ago this place was overtaken by toys everywhere yeah he managed to spread them everywhere despite the fact that there's not that many he still managed to make a massive mess everywhere my back is absolutely killing me and uh, yeah I need some sleep so bad hello it's the next morning and I'm just gonna make a quick video to make a complaint to YouTube um i am not gonna vlog today simply not it's not related to that it's just i'm gonna work all morning and then this afternoon i'm going to make french raises and tonight we're gonna come back like for bedtime and then i'm gonna watch the charity concert so there's not much vloggable stuff there but uh something happened during the night that really annoyed me <laughs> and i just thought it was important to explain it because i don't understand exactly the reasons behind it and what I understand makes me annoyed and scared about what <laughs> the world is becoming. Um, so, a few days ago, like maybe less than a week ago, I got an email from YouTube saying that one of my videos was blocked. Um, I can't remember how it was worded, but it was a term I, I don't, didn't really understand. So I looked it up in YouTube and they, they explained that it was they thought that my content was not suitable for some users and therefore it was being blocked from monetization which meant I can't earn any money from that video. The monetization part I don't really care about because to be honest with what I've earned over the past almost two years with YouTube is uh, probably not even enough to buy me a packet of nappies but um, <clears throat> that's not the reason why I'm doing it. What annoys me is which videos they picked and uh, I'm guessing they have uh, computers going through the videos and there's some kind of new algorithm that came in because this morning I had another one of these emails. The two videos that were flagged were talking about world events. The first one was the attacks in Paris in November 2015 and the second one is the video Owen made about the war in Syria. Now, tell me how the video made by a five-year-old talking about the war in Syria can be shocking to any audience. Seriously, the one I did about the attack in Paris, I didn't actually strictly talk about it. It was a daily vlog and I'm ending the vlog with just finding out what happened. Well, the beginning of what happened. I'm stopping the vlog without even knowing half of the stuff. Um, and there are words which I'm guessing it was what flagged everything are like attacks, explosion, shooting, or hostage, you know, things like that. So fair enough, I understand that. Now, I listened to the one again from Owen and I think the word that flag everything is war in Syria. Does it mean <clears throat> that if anybody talks about the war in Syria, which is a very real fact and a very current fact, 
they get flagged is that what it means is that what it has come to are we not allowed to talk about this on youtube what is the deal with that well this video is more than likely going to get flagged because i've mentioned every single word that uh could be shocking in the previous video and i've said war and say it loads of time um it makes me annoyed it makes me sad it makes me angry owen's video is a video where he wanted to do this, that was his project, <clears throat> and it was for him, it was important for people to know about his message because um, it, the way he sees it is that the more people know about the situation, the more people can help, which is very true. And coming from a five-year-old, it's amazing to see this. And the reason why I chose to publish it is because I think sometimes that children have a good way of seeing things that we have forgotten about and we sometimes should go back to our inner child to deal with issues and this way maybe the world would be a better place and it makes me really annoyed when some big company with a lot of money decide that this is not okay <laughs> who are they to decide this ah it's really annoying me um it's if it's not for the fact that you know technically the people can still see the message but it's the fact that they pick those two videos like do they just want people to pretend life is perfect and everything is happy so that they can earn money from them and if you talk about bad stuff then you don't earn anymore is that what it is about i don't know so i have appealed those decisions <coughs> so then hopefully some like a real person and not a computer looks at them and decides i'm not expecting anything from the one where i mentioned the attacks in paris but see, they still think the one Owen made, like, it's called the war in Syria seen by a five-year-old or something, explained by a five-year-old or something like that. And I know I had, it's probably the video I got the most feedback on from people. I've had people messaging me, this video came out around the time Donald Trump was elected and here we go, I'm going to talk about shocking things again maybe, so maybe I'll get flagged again. <clears throat> um... And a lot of people needed a bit of hope at that time. So did I, to be honest. And when Owen came back from school and started to speak like that, it did give me a little bit of hope that if the kids from now still see things that way and we can manage to nurture this, maybe someday the world can be a better place. I am a very optimistic person at heart. And to have... And I know maybe people will think I'm overreacting with this, but I am... Um, I find it really important for people to speak up and I feel like when you speak up about things you're being shut down it's ridiculous now they haven't taken the videos offline and all that but <coughs> it's basically meaning if you talk about serious stuff we can't we won't pay you so that's exactly what it would be do you know it's ridiculous anyway Sorry about this rant, I just needed to get it out because I do believe that it's important for people to know what is going on in the world. And in the world of YouTube, this is what's going on. If you're a five-year-old and talk about war and Syria, you get flagged. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you in the next vlog, which will be live on Monday night, the vlog of the weekend. I hope you have a really nice weekend. And yeah, keep spreading the word about the world stuff because... YouTube doesn't want you to do it, but you can still do it anyway. I'm gonna stop my round. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> Bye!